Westminster Abbey Choir. There's a fascinating routine to life as a chorister at Westminster Abbey. And you're very much part of the Abbey community, living and working right at the centre of things. Westminster Abbey is a major church. It's a royal church. It's always been a royal church. It was founded by a king in its early days as a monastery. It is a place where many state and national occasions happen. It is also a place where there is a full cathedral-like schedule of daily worship. So in a way, it's like a, a national shrine for Britain. Each morning, after breakfast, there's a choir practice in the Abbey before school begins. Whether it's a 16th century piece or something brand new that's just been commissioned, there's excitement in what you learn to sing. There's so much fun and there are interesting services where you can sing really nice music. At first, when I did my first service, then I was sort of like, I'm singing in Westminster Abbey. It's just amazing, that feeling. Most evenings, the choristers process a short distance across Dean's Yard and into the Abbey, ready to sing Evensong. Beyond the normal daily services, there are grand occasions of state, often televised, with the choir taking pride of place. It's a busy life, but the enjoyment of singing, an essential part of Westminster Abbey, is what makes being a chorister so rewarding. As the master of the choristers, I would like to say that, the, that singing in the choir and feeling the pride of putting on the choir robes and just getting a couple of inches taller as you go into the abbey to sing as the choir, in the, uh, 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 as the choir of Westminster Abbey, I think that's a feeling that never goes away and lasts the whole of your life. Westminster Abbey Choir School.